We're just about to board the ferry to head over to the Akshaz Islands uh, to work with our volunteers this morning. We have our work crew with us, our volunteers, and uh, we're going to do some gardening out on the island today. I'm Sheila Fritz, and I'm the project manager for the Garden Conservancy here on Alcatraz Island. I look after um, the gardens and the volunteers. Um, we started in 2003 and clearing overgrowth from 40 years of buildup when the prison closed in 1963. And some plants actually survived from back in um, the penitentiary time. So this fuchsia is over 50 years old and uh, has fuchsia mite, but we're taking care of it today. Wednesdays and Fridays are volunteer days out here on Alcatraz, and we have a varying crew that comes out. Some of us are training to be docents to lead the garden tours to get the word out about the gardens. And you come out and work with some great people. And today we have volunteers out here um, working in the gardens, even on a rainy day like today. We uh, try to do sustainable gardening out here as well as historical gardening. And uh, so compost is a big part of it. We generate a lot of bio waste out here, so it's really important that we channel it back into the land. We have little space out here and not a lot of water, so mulching and composting is critical to what we do. What we shoot for is like a three to four week turnaround from the beginning to final compost, which is this material here, which is pretty final. This material will get screened and be used uh, as enrichment in, in the planted beds. Also, we use it for potting soil. So, that's what we do. Um, here we're along the main road and you can see the natural sandstone here that the island's actually made out of. When the military came on, they blasted away this rock and um, it's a gray wackle sandstone, so it has lots of cracks in it. The ivy you see coming over is mature ivy, has the berries forming already. The military brought the ivy in to, for erosion control and it's just done so well here that it's actually forming the berries and taking over. Um, further down the road, we have the man-made features here. This is part of the retaining wall structure that the military made with inmate labor. And so you can see the contrast between man-made concrete and the natural sandstone here. Hopefully the gardens are the big deal now. A lot of folks from all over the world, of course, come to see the prison itself and then discover the gardens which have been reclaimed in the last five years. Calas in Spanish is actually called Alcatraz, just pure coincidence, but they do so well here on the island and we don't water them so they'll go dormant for the summer, but they started blooming late December and they'll keep going for until April, May, and then they'll just die down again. I look for something that catches my eye. That is a sedum, but there are different colors. Everybody plants those. And I love the aloes and the aeoniums. I have quite a few aeoniums that I've drawn. I have hundreds of drawings. This is just what I carry. <laughs> and we just finished the greenhouse um, two weeks ago. The volunteers did it entirely. You know, they're a talented bunch of people. It's been a great way for me to get more used to the community of San Francisco because you're always meeting new and different people. Some come for a while, come, some have been here five years, and it's just an interesting, bunch of folks that are putting back into the community. We need more of our historical roses that have been on the island for years and it will be planted, I hope, in this new greenhouse. And they're Drosanthemum floribundum, Persian carpet, if people ask, because visitors will start coming by and um, they're always touching it and feeling it. I think it's really adding to the experience of all the visitors that come to this island because there's a running commentary day after day of how beautiful the gardens are and it contrasts so nicely with sort of the, the decay that you see in the buildings around you and I think it, it shows some pride in, in what is a national park and a, a true resource for the Bay Area. Always something to do in the garden and something new to see. I love it. The garden is why I'm here.